Hey, Ranger Terry here today on special assignment at the Hunting Island Nature Center. We're getting ready to go to, over to St. Phillips Island with Coastal Expeditions and uh, take a tour and see what kind of wildlife experiences we can have along the way. So looking forward to it. Join me and we'll get started shortly. Uh, yeah, I'm Ranger John. You guys obviously we met Claire on the boat. Who's going to bring you your interpreter? I'll be uh, your tram driver for the day. Um, also, the trails can get tight at spots over there um, as we're tramming you through the island. So we just have to just stay seated, keep, um, and then we'll tram you down. Like I said, through the island, we'll let you off, and you can explore the beach trail and things like that. We do have some short nets, some birds, leash turns, well, some clovers. Um, we just ask that you stay off the dunes if you could. We also have sea turtles nests that are marked. Um, the birds are not marked, but even if you flush them off the nest and not step on their eggs, uh, they're exposed to the sun for just a couple minutes. Uh, and another huge reason we were really excited to get this um, is the National Natural Landmark. Uh, there's only six of them in the state of South Carolina. Okay, I'm just going to do a brief kind of synopsis. So, you guys are all naturalists with me now, right? So, we spent a lot of time kind of following. Okay, so like I just said, we'll start 
Uh, Ranger Terry here on the beach at uh, St. Phillips Island. What you would expect uh, to find on a beach or, or experience while you're out here, we'll do a real quick uh, beach walk. Uh, just stumble upon a couple of things. Uh, but we're at low tide or approaching low tide, so you can see how much beach we actually have out here. And real quick, here's a really beautiful channeled whelk. Uh, very good shape for that. All right, this is a, an angel wing, a true angel wing. Now I'm gonna flip it over so that you can see it. This is uh, one of the burrowing clams, and it would normally, it's a bivalve, so it would normally have a matching second half to it. And we're gonna walk down here a little bit, and we're gonna see a sea turtle, loggerhead sea turtle nest up here on one of these little ridges. And this is again, this is great shorebird habitat uh, for nesting. So we're not gonna go in there, we're just gonna enjoy it from a distance. We'll stay down here on the, on the beach. But I just wanted to point out the sea turtle nest over here and how we mark where we find them after they've nested. There's an osprey soaring overhead. There's its mate right up here. Might be an easier shot to see it. So beach walks uh, often show more than just beach. So one of the great things out here on the beach St. Phillips Island on these excursions is that you can pretty much do what you want if uh, just walking along like these guys uh, picking up shells or if you're a little bit more into maybe wildlife viewing birding uh, one of the gulls there we saw the ospreys there's one of the shorebirds looks like a ruddy turnstone uh, flying around the beach uh, just so much to do out here no matter what your interest is, if you want to take a, a swim or walk along the beach or view wildlife or go shelling. Uh, this little spot that I'm about to show you is one of the fun spots on the uh, beach tour. And I'm gonna back the camera up and check this cool little area out. People love to get their picture taken. And that oak root, 
that once upon a time had a palmetto tree growing out of it.